I don't know. I don't think this is big enough. Oh, hey, I think that's big enough. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here, and if you can't tell, I'm actually out in the middle of a snowstorm. So let's head on back in because, let's just say, it's a little cold. It's a little cold and a little winter out. Look at all those guys. This is like literally all fall in the last five, ten minutes, and the snow is nowhere to stop. Anyway, so we are today in Dearborn, Michigan. Yes, Dearborn, Michigan, going to a place called the Custard Co. And be, you know why? Because we're gonna have some nice, big, awesome frozen custard. Yes, in fact, we're having the biggest ice cream cone, custard cone I've ever seen in my life. This is called the King Kong Cone. This is equivalent to apparently almost like 40 small cones. The thing is insane. And I mean, who doesn't like to eat freezing cold ice cream in the freezing cold winter? Uh, but anyway, for this challenge, we're going to have 15 minutes to complete it. Um, if we do, we will get it for free. I will get you the pricing info. Um, but yeah, pretty much it is an absolutely giant, giant, giant ice cream cone. Um, again, custard, custard difference between custard and ice cream. Custard is made with like more eggs and heavy cream. It's supposed to be really delicious. Uh, but anyway, let's go have some fun. Let's eat some food. Custard go, here we come. And hopefully we don't freeze on the way over. So let's go eat some ice cream. All right, everyone, so here we are with the King Kong cone, and this is giant to say the least. Oh, we gotta get started here, because this is like, <laughs> this is insane. I've never seen such like a big ice cream cone. Um, so this is the equivalent, they said, of probably about 30 to 40 of their small cones. So this is custard, not ice cream, being egg yolks, heavy cream, richer, thicker. But this looks awesome. So 15 minutes, right? Let's do it. Okay, so how about you get started? You give me a countdown whenever you're ready. All right, five, four, Three, two, one. Let's go. Mm. Oh man, that is rich. Huge though. You see like, it's just burning my head. There's a lot of ice cream on it. Or, correction, a lot of custard. I didn't realize how big this was. Can I bother you for a cup of like warm water? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Trying to eat the edges. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we eat the biggest, yes, the absolute biggest custard cone ever. This thing was absolutely giant as you can see and definitely posed a lot of difficulty that kind of rhymed. So what is so crazy about this challenge is it is just hard to fathom how big and thick it really is. Talk about brain freeze. Ooh, I'm covered in ice cream. Generally when they make a average ice cream cone, you know, the swirl is just like a uni sur a a swirl, you know what I mean? But you have to realize they had to go around this like, you know, like six times to like fill up the kind of, you know, just diameter of this thing. Like uh, it was just unfathomable to actually get into this because that's when you realized how big it was. Sure it looked huge, sure it was huge, sure it weighed like, I don't even know, like eight to nine pounds to hold it. But what was absolutely crazy was just once I got into it, like this part realizing, oh my gosh, this is huge. This is absolutely giant. I feel like this isn't ending. This is such a brick of custard. Okay. This is warm, I'm Thank you. To get that. Tastes delicious though. I look like a, I don't know, Santa Claus or a kid, uh, a kid covered in ice cream. Thank 
So this cone itself literally was like over a gallon of custard. Um, again, it's kind of hard to quantify or fathom sometimes as the ice cream is borderline solid slash liquid, but it was over a gallon of custard in here. Um, what's really cool about the place themselves is they're making all their own custards, all their own mixes. They have such innovative items and flavors that they release you know kind of uh habitually also seasonally so every time you go in you're able to get a new flavor a custard you're able to get a new kind of item and everything so it's really really a unique place to stop by good thing i don't take myself very seriously covered in ice cream oh brain freeze uh. I will say this was incredibly cold, especially with how cold it was outside. So if you ever have gotten brain freeze, give me a hashtag brain freeze, because I tell you what, I had brain and body freeze. Overall though, I believe that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. So the absolute biggest custard cone, ice cream cone, whatever you want to call it, this thing was absolutely massive. But like I said, really cool spot, definitely stop on by. If you do, tell them I say hello. But let's tune on in, see if we can complete this challenge, because at this point, I really did think I was gonna fail it. So let's see what happens. This is cold. <laughs> it looks huge. You're about five minutes in. Mitts for this one. Straight out of the machine, straight in my hands. Oh 
Ugh. I'm starting to feel like I can't function. I definitely have a stomach full of cold ice cream. guys that was crazy I definitely underestimated how big that was I am frozen but man that was 
very delicious. And I can actually really, really tell the difference between that custard and ice cream. Like I said, this is so much creamier, so like way richer. Of course they have, you know, chocolate, vanilla. They have a pistachio one actually. I know in the summer they have like rotating flavors all the time. Plus they have all the loaded cones, milkshakes, and waffle sandwiches, and pretty much everything you can ever imagine. So maybe I'll try to warm up. We may try to get a warm drink, I think it'll help a bit, but I will say, the one thing that I really want to try, they have these loaded cones, like I said, and one of them's like dunk roots, so I don't know, I might gotta, might gotta look into that once I hopefully warm up a little bit here, so hopefully I'll be back momentarily. If I'm not for Popsicle by then, I will be after that, but we'll be back in just a moment. All right, everyone, so here I am back with their, some of their stuffed cones. They have a whole menu. I just had to pick a couple. I'm still freezing, but I warmed up enough. I can get a coffee, which is awesome. So I have the Fun Fetty guys. I this is dipped in birthday cake icing, filled with actual sprinkles. Super excited for that. I then have one of my all time childhood favorite dessert cake treats. I don't know what we call it. Dunkaroos, guys. This is Dunkaroos. Literally a Dunkaroos on the outside, and icing on the inside. Shout out if you know what Dunkaroos are. Comment down below. And then last but not least, we have Ashta, which I've had Ashta on different occasions. Generally, it can be like a stringy ice cream kind of. The flavor is like rose water, golden pistachios, and uh, yeah, I'm like super excited. Do I know where to start? Which one is probably the sweetest? Dunkaroos is the sweetest, so I'll probably take that one last. What would be the least sweetest? The cake one. Fun Fetty. Fun Fetty? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so let's, let's start with the Fun Fetty cake batter, guys. I love cake batter. They also have Guernsey ice creams here, which are like a super, super famous uh, Michigan hard ice cream like, company. They are expanding nationally, but I gotta say, I tried some of it. They have the craziest cake batter ice cream, birthday cake batter ice cream I've ever, ever had. So, like, yeah, Grinzy ice cream here, so you want hard ice cream or of course the custard, so. Anyway, let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. Ooh wee! Okay. So creamy, like I said, that custard it just hits. Dipping that cake batter. Mm. We love the flavor. And then we do have, oh look at this, look at that. I just like dug into it. And we have all the sprinkles. That is so cool. What a cool image. That's like fun fatty. Eating that slowly, like I said, just the difference that custard compared to the soft like an ice cream is. Man, really tell the difference. Delicious. Let's try this one. Oh man, that's too good though. Woo. Honestly, this is worth freezing for though, so. Well worth it. Ashta, never tried this flavor, guys. Give it a chance, give it a try. Exactly. Rose water, guys. Mustachio. Super rich. I know it's filled with like, basically a rose water sweet syrup. Which I got some of here on the spoon. Super delicate. Super just like, you know, richness of pistachio. Such a nice flavor. Definitely must try. If you've never tried it, it's like I said, it's very unique. I like that a lot though. Definitely like not deathly sweet. And now guys, Dunkaroos. The moment I have been waiting for. Next to this lab fridge. Let's give it a try. Oh wow. Hold up. I, I want to get I want to get a bite with that ice because that is where okay look at that guys you can see the little fun fetty bits this is just like the Dunkaroos holy cow I like it I like this a lot it really does bring back some childhood memories and even Dunkaroos and hey, everybody. Very delicious. Like I said, guys, Custard Co. 100% recommend Salt Mumbai. Great everything. And hella custard. So next time, everybody, Dearborn, Detroit, any surrounding area, come on by. Shout out to the staff, too. 
Everything's fantastic. Too good. Not sugar free, but too good, guys. So, like I said, until next time, stand with the hungry, happy eating. Don't eat this much ice cream, but definitely come by and try one. Maybe two. Maybe all of them on different occasions. But, like I said, guys, until next time, I'm gonna go warm up. And that, have a lovely day. Right. How many regular cones do you think this is? Uh, oh, maybe um, smalls. For, for smalls, I would say like mm, 40, 40, 50, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. All right, let's start real quick just because it's right. starting to fall. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much. You rock.